Now and to Snohomish County, where the busiest hospital there is seeing nurses walk off the job this morning. More than a thousand nurses at Providence Medical Center in Everett are going on strike right now after declining the latest contract offer from the hospital. King Pastor Drew Andre has been covering negotiations from the start and joins us live in front of the nurses who are holding picket signs right now. Drew. That's right. Good morning, Mimi. And we are now officially into this work stoppage now that it is 6 a.m. and it will last through Sunday. We've already seen a lot of nurses that have gathered here and they're going to be marching all the way around the hospital. I want to bring in the registered nurse Juan Stout. And Juan, how did we get to this point? Why is it important to be doing this? Well, we're in a situation uh, right now where we're staffing levels are at a dire point. Um, we're trying to get staffing language at the table that the hospital does not want to agree with and we're trying to keep our community safe and we've had mishaps happen in the in the hospital that should not have happened that were based on our staffing levels and I think for our community uh, to be safe we need to get that fixed and we need to hold the hospital accountable for that and we're talking more than 1300 nurses that are striking let's take a look at your screen right here this shows the breakdown of what the offer was the offer from the hospital is about 21 percent over the next three years you guys are looking closer to 30 percent why is it important to get to that mark well it's not so much the number there we are a level two trauma center we are being paid less than our competitors that send us patients. And when you're in a situation like that, you're taking on a higher level of patients. Um, your staffing levels are lower than some of the pieces in the area. And um, it's just something to keep people here, yep. to keep our nurses that we train here. We have to take care of them. And to take care of them, we're taking care of the community. So. Um, that's what we're fighting for. It's not necessarily just the money. We need to to staff this hospital the way it used to be staffed so that we can take care of this community. Definitely. Okay, thank you, Juan. We, we appreciate it. Again, the thank strike you. will last through Sunday. Then negotiations can pick back up. Now, we did want to ask the hospital, well, what happens during this time frame when you're missing out on all of these nurses? This is what hospital administrators had to say. Our goal was to make sure through this that we would be able to not compromise or alter services for the community. And I, I'm, I'm happy to say that at this point, uh, we don't feel the need to have to uh, change or reduce any services. And they say they're able to do that with a mix of temporary nurses and travel nurses that they've brought in. They even have management that will be helping out around the hospital floor, too. So, again, the strike lasts through Sunday. Then negotiations could pick back up with the goal, of course, for both sides is to eventually find a deal to get these 1,300 plus nurses back to work. Reporting live in Everett, I'm Drew Andre, King 5 News. And this is a story we'll be following closely throughout the day. Drew, thank you. Local hospitals and healthcare unions have been split over the best way to deal with the overall staffing crisis. But overnight, Overall, unions have won big salary gains in recent years. Last year, UW Medicine nurses agreed to a 21% salary increase over two years. Seattle Children's Nurses signed a three-year contract that saw their pay increase 31% over that same time period. The State Hospital Association tells us it's dealing with these labor shortages while also losing money for the last two years.